What a relief that things settled down before I left for the States. I must admit, my mandatory attendance at G4 had been stressing me out. Did you read the documents I gave you? Eno's never been captured. Still hasn't. She's not sitting on a prison cot so much as our dignity. Well, that certainly eases my pre-summit anxiety. Thank you ever so much. Hey, I'm only warning you out of the kindness of my heart. Oh, I am keenly aware. It's why I called in some specialists for their assistance. They're investigating the security situation in America. I'm sure they've already- It's a dog. A dog? And as they say, it's best to let sleeping dogs lie. You made it. King Daryl? These two are the specialists you mentioned? Seriously? I'm sure you remember them, but allow me to reintroduce you. This is Zato One and Milia Rage. That's Director Milia Rage, Your Majesty the Third King. Director of what? We reinstituted the Post War Administration Bureau, and no one tops their former guild at informational warfare. Sure, because their methods are illegal. They're specialized. I think that's how the government puts it. They're from the largest intelligence agency in the world. It'd be a waste not to recycle them. Does Kai know about this? His response was much the same as yours. <sighs> Don't get the wrong idea. You could be reborn as a Buddha, and I'd still hold your every sin against you. You're just lucky we don't have any way to prosecute the dead in this country. Got it? I'll keep that in mind, Second King. Hmm. <laughs> Good. Now, what was it you were saying about dogs earlier? If I may have your attention... About time. Better bust out the travel brochure. We were tasked with checking the security system for G4 and the architecture of the White House for any blind spots. To make a long story short, they're both immaculate. We couldn't interfere even if we wanted to. However, we can only speak to the areas we could get eyes on. While we were inspecting the White House floor plan that the United States provided us, we discovered a black box. A black box? As far as we know, not even the President is aware of it. The file's creation is attributed to a number of military-industrial complexes the world over. It appears as though, at one point, Illyria was involved in the construction of the White House. So what's in the box? It's protected by a non-linear three-way matrix authentication encryption process. Translation? We don't know what's inside. You can't open it. Therein lies our issue. We don't believe that we should. Why not? Milia, what sort of data do we encrypt? The kind we don't want people to see. And who loves encryption most of all? Bad people. Well, most of the time at least. That's why the United States didn't notice it, and we did. In essence, King Leo, if we open this and it's a mere jack-in-the-box, we can all laugh it off. But if it turns out to be Pandora's box, well... What, just looking at it will put a curse on us? Don't be so superstitious. It's the 22nd century. Archaeologists and grave robbers have a name for this kind of thing. You're calling it a treasure? Regardless, we were tasked with tightening security. We can't predict whether this black box will threaten the safety of G4 or not. Still, whether we open it up and take a look is entirely up to you. Do it. What? You can't be serious. What? It's outdated intel anyway. The problem's not how old it is, it's where it's from. We should at least check in with the US about it first. I never knew you were so by the book. But all right, I'll leave this matter in your hands. Leaving already? G4 waits for no man, no matter how hard you drag your heels on this. No need to get snide. Well, 
done, post-war administration bureau. This is quite the treasure trove of talent. Oh, ho! Tiernanak. Hey, come on! This is too juicy to ignore. Oh, I knew Asuka had to have something fun in the works. Now, let's see where this story takes us. Eno, you say? Yeah. Your former ally has been detained by the Illyrian government. It's a real weight off my shoulders. You don't look too happy about it, though. <sighs> I once promised her a future. However, it seems I took too long to deliver. She chose to leave me. So you feel responsible? In part, yes. But... The Eno I know would never let herself be captured so easily. I imagine they're interrogating her right now. So why don't we save the anxiety-inducing conversations for after she's escaped? Wait, hold it! You can't just barge into the middle of- Hey, Eno! So? Who the hell is this chaos bastard? Long time no see. Head. Should I be looking for a good lawyer? Better find one who can take a beating. What do you want to know? Oh, since when are you so generous? I'm hurt. Have I ever lied to you? I don't think you've ever told me the truth. If you don't want to talk, you're welcome to leave. Fine then. What'd you take from Ariel's? Her pride. I had my tongue nice and sharp. Gave her a verbal beatdown. Must have left her down in the dumps. Don't give me that told you so look. She let herself get captured. We're not getting the truth until we bring in that chaos fellow. Well, you think? I bet I could get it out of her sooner. Oh my. Were you looking to make some renovations to the castle? Enough property damage, both of you. This isn't a question I ask lightly, but do you plan on becoming a god? And here I thought you brought me in just for destruction of property. Don't dodge the question. Do you intend to destroy the world? <laughs> Is the destruction of the world all you ever think about? Would it kill you to get a bit more creative? Yeah, we'll work on that. Maybe that Chaos guy can give us some ideas. Call him over. You want a ticket? You're gonna have to wait in line. You gotta put in the effort to get something worthwhile. This is an interrogation room. Didn't you see the sign? It says, sorry, I can cut the line whenever I want. Sounds like you'd be better off taking that sign with you to the White House then. I bet the gear maker's got a hell of a story to tell you. Excuse me? Are you suggesting the gear maker's up to something? You think he's not? Really? What was it again? The accumulation of goodwill? Well, it's not like I know much about it myself. I'm not going to be the one setting off the fireworks. Eno's never needed a reason to cause trouble. This is the first time I've ever felt intent behind her actions. That's tripping us up as well. If only we knew what's motivating her. Could her past be the key? Jacko, looks like you could shine some light on this. I thought I could, but now I'm not so sure. Explain. There were originally supposed to be two Jacko units. One of them was me. 
My role was to make your girlfriend human again. And the other's role was to make Eno... To make her what? Asuka knew that Eno would pose a threat if she ever awakened. So he created a Jacko to prevent that. No, in order to save her. That other Jacko... was given a name to distinguish us. Happy Chaos. What are you saying? That the gear maker created chaos? No, more importantly, is Eno trying to become a normal human? That's what I don't get. The plan was kept secret. Eno shouldn't know about it. And weirder still, even though the gear maker was making happy chaos, he never finished. Two different parents gave their kid that name? The world really has gone to shit. But this is all new to me. You said Eno's incomplete, right? Why? Tell us everything you know. This is a good opportunity for you, too. chocolate The world in which we live is governed by a programmatic space that controls all of creation. This space is known as the backyard. One day, however, the backyard got sick. But you said it was a program. You know how they say dolls can get possessed by spirits? It's like that, though in this case, the world got possessed by humanity's emotions during the war. So, the backyard cut off the source of the illness. That was the first mistake. The part that got cut off was given tremendous authority, and became all-powerful. And that's Eno. To be precise, it's Axel, too. Asuka's teacher was the first to discover Eno. He decided she was a threat, and took away her power and her sense of self. So that's why she's incomplete. Then, if Eno isn't trying to become a human, but rather her original self... She'd need the other half she lost. Is that what she took from Ariel's? If it was, then why isn't she complete yet? Perhaps she requires something else. An energy source. Or even a specific moment. No matter what she needs, there's something that can give it to her. Asuka's tome, right? Looks like I'll be taking Vernon up on his offer after all. Let us take care of Eno and Chaos. Chip seems to have vanished, but he may know something as well. This is just a hypothetical, okay? What if I could stop Eno? But if I did, Arya would never be able to wake up. What would you do? Is that part of your role too? Huh? What would happen to you? Never ask me that again. Not even as a joke. I will not let you erase Arya on a whim, no matter what. It was only a hypothetical. Just forget about it, okay? <sighs> Do you need a map? Only if it can direct me away from trouble. Trouble's like your persistent ex, isn't she? You tried ending things, but she's always hitting you up. Well, that was an awfully short vacation. On the bright side, it was your longest yet. <laughs> Got me there. Say, that isolation zone, Iseo. What's it like? Empty. 
It's just mountains, a big old field, and a lake. But the floating island reflecting in the lake at sunset made it popular with painters. I decided a long time ago that that was where I wanted to live. Sorry. About, you know, just now. When a woman makes a face like that, a man's to blame. Asuka told me that way back when. Do I look sentimental to you? I can't cry. Or even feel. If I go to the White House, I'll see Asuka there. And I'll give him the ass-kicking he deserves. Feels like that'd be a faster road to forgiveness than some drawn-out heart-to-heart. -heart. Forgiveness? That's where people belong. So listen up. This is important. Your past is kept up in here. But the present, this very moment, is in here. And right now, Ari is there too. Whenever you're feeling lost, this is what you should trust. You must be aware of it by now, right? Understood. I'll leave an opening in our security on the day of the event. Not only can you control people's actions, but their minds and appearance as well. Anyone but you, yes. Using those fancy eyes of yours. Why do you let me live? You're the only one in the world who knows my weakness. That makes things interesting. You could be the key to real drama. That and, well, honestly, I like you. There aren't many folks out there who hold themselves to their own standards. You baffle me. One cannot go far without a destination in mind. Without that, how can you ever know if you've arrived? And yet you see meaning in pressing ever onwards. Just like Bushido. I just want to go someplace that's not on the map. The United States of America. You've only ever seen the world before the revival. Isn't this a view? You could say it's a work of art crafted by culture and civilization. But as of tomorrow, it might be called hell. So a path without morality leads to the root of evil then. Good luck. <laughs> I'm amazed you managed to get so many of these. It was no easy task, I'll tell you that. They don't build them to this standard anymore. Well, I can't imagine they'll be necessary for a summit on world peace. They're not for the world. They're to protect you. I need you to know what we'll be packing. Erica, it's not like G4 is a war. For me and Dickinson, it is. Do you know why I grew my hair over my ears? Not a clue. Because Dickinson talks too loud. Maybe it's old age, but he's been telling me the same thing for three years. Listen, Erica. To our mission, we stay true. Whether, Whether the, the president's, president's tie, tie is red, red or, or blue. blue. Ha! Ha <laughs> ha! Still saying that, is he? Make that six years. I want to put an end to the era of might makes right. To let the people look to the future and see a newfound hope. To bring about an era where the president designs the badges of his secret service himself? Exactly. 
And the thing that'll save the world is football. Football. They say that sports once captivated people of all stripes, from all over the country. We should be thinking about how best to enrich the time we spend with our loved ones. Isn't that the world you dreamed of as well? Let's go greet our hero. How's it feel being back home again? Well, it's not exactly Turin in November. <laughs> what do you think of the White House then? Same shit as Illyria Castle. Now I see why taxes are so high. The laws of this country are grand, you see. If you steal something, you gotta put it to use. <laughs> okay, be frank with me. I thought we knights were supposed to guard the conference room. Why am I the only one on standby? On the day of G4, each country will bring along their most highly accomplished knights. If our country were represented by a world-renowned hero, it might appear we're making a mockery of the others. So, what, should I nap through the thing? That's our hope. If you slept here through G4, then headed home when you woke up, that would be our ideal outcome. Vernon, you know you can be straight with me. It's Asuka who wants me here, isn't it? You knew that all along, and you still came. Yeah, well... This is between him and me. You just got caught up in it. Do you know what he's trying to do? Can I see him? Why didn't you go with Frederick? Because I'm the only one who can stop Eno. That's not true. You want to learn about Eno, don't you? You're projecting yourself onto her. You can't make friends just by looking down from the top of your castle. How long do you intend to stay in here? Aria, you finally came to see me. Because you wouldn't come out. Everyone has their strengths and weaknesses. But we both need a future, don't we? Are you saying you called me in here? We both called out to each other. The two of us are a single Aria. But it's about time that you remembered why you're here. Do you ever intend to come back? Arya's mind was destroyed along with the world, back before the Crusades. We can no longer be sure of her intentions. But you're Arya, aren't you? A piece of her. Just like you. The only difference is that you have emotions. Artificial ones, sure. Is your love for Frederick artificial too? Ugh. How would I even know if it was? Why don't you take off your halo? It's from before you were human, is it not? Is my ego starting to become independent? That may be so. Or perhaps... Even after she lost everything, Arya refused to throw everything away. But the Arya Frederick once is the one from the past. Do you feel as if he's rejected you? For living only to fulfill your role? We're all searching for our place in society, aren't we? For me? It's saving the world. So what's the difference? Nothing at all. Provided that it's what you wish for. What do I wish for? There is not merely one world. In fact, there's one for each and every one of us. Your world hasn't even existed for an entire year. What value does it hold for you? You don't yet have the courage to accept yourself. If you can't find your answer, 
then Arya will disappear. But in order to do so, you need to be prepared. To do what? Destroy the world. We can't approve an in-person meeting between the two of you before G4, so you'll have to settle for this. It'll do. First you're that man, then the gear maker, and now the devil himself. How many names does one man need? As of right now, none of them apply to me. Then who the hell called me here? Just Asuka. The boring man with a fondness for math that you know so well. Let G4 end peacefully. Once it does, I'll kick the shit out of you and head home. Frederick. I've never decided anything for myself before. I followed the influences around me, tried to adapt myself to them. My long list of aliases is a testament to that. I've never truly been myself. Thinking back on it now, it seems the same could be said for my becoming a scientist. In turn, I've always pushed the responsibility for my presence in this world. Onto everyone else. But that changes today. Listen up, people. We're on high alert till each and every ambassador is back in their room with a warm bed and a full stomach. Now, I know you good folks will never give anything less than your all. But today, today your all won't be enough. This is gonna be the longest damn day of our lives, make no mistake. Now let's get to it. Sir, I forgot to ask. Is the gear maker really that big a deal? Excuse me? I mean, I've never been ordered to deploy five whole security divisions for one conference before. I've never issued an order like that before, either. But by the same token, you never met an individual who could take down the entire goddamn Union fleet in the end, now have you? I have not. If we make it to tomorrow, you'll have someone else standing next to you, Lincoln. with the scent.